Okay. So let's move on to the third topic, which is, um, and it's probably going to roll people the wrong way, but I mean, it is, it needs to be discussed, which is, the question is, is it a Black man's responsibility to take care of a single mother's children while they're in the dating phase? <laughs> let's start with you. Um, well, while they're in a dating phase, no, yeah. it's not his responsibility in the dating phase. Uh, because kind of sort of still in the dating phase, you're getting to know the mother still, right? And the children. I mean, now you have to accept them if you're gonna if right. you're gonna talk to the mama, you gotta accept the children. But as far as it being his responsibility. Courtney and that camera. I'm trying to, I'm not focused. Am I not blurry to y'all? Yeah, you blurry. I thought you had a fly yeah. or something in there. <laughs> she was doing that. Right. But, Go ahead. Keep talking, Keisha. But, um, but yeah, it's not his responsibility, but he does, it, he does have to accept them. If you're going to talk to the mama, you have to be willing to accept the the kid or kids that she does have that's how that's how i feel about that and see this this would be great like remember last last topic we was talking about last episode we was talking about what's our limit on step kids so this would be perfect like if we had a guy here so we can be like so what's your limit on but the highest because you know i you know I, I was out there you know spring a little black girl magic so one guy told me the highest amount of kids that he would take like a girl is five I said, oh my God. That's high. That's high. That's high. But you know, but you know why he said five? First off, he was older. He was like damn near 50. And he had five kids himself. So I was like, I said, well, that that kind of don't count. Because I said, I'm talking about like around my age. So my age, like 35, 34, 35, the highest a guy said was three, three kids. And two baby daddies. That's that's as, as much as he could do. Okay, but what about those, what about those, I wonder, I wonder, because, you know, y'all can't answer for them, but what about those mamas that have six kids and one baby dad? We'll talk about that, but uh, Courtney, what's your opinion on, because uh, cause they're not going to like what I have to say, but, I mean, it's true. But... So, Courtney, the question is, is it a Black man's responsibility to take care of a single mother's kids while they're in a dating phase? absolutely not i um even if they didn't have kids no one owes you nothing i i'm sorry i just that's just how i see it like because you know some girls even the ones that don't have kids they're like my man should be getting my nails done should be helping me pay for my hair and i'm not with that i'm not with it at all you're a grown-ass woman take care of your own fucking self and then if you want to get real technical with it your nails your hair stuff like that that's that's the it's not a necessity. You know what I mean? That's just something that you want to get done. No one, no one owes you anything and no one should be having to take care of you like you're their child. You know what I mean? Right. And so like when you want to bring kids into it, I mean, I think when you're dating someone and they have kids and like, you know, they do gifts, you know, maybe take them to school shopping and stuff like that. That's real nice. It's real, you know, that's real you know, it's showing something, you know what I mean? Like, I care about you, I care about your kids, but they don't have to do that. You know what I mean? It, they don't have to do that whatsoever. And they shouldn't be, if you're with someone and they're not actively trying to, you know, pay to take you and your four kids out to eat every other Friday or something like that, they shouldn't be condemned for that. And you shouldn't be talking bad about them. Thank because you. That's, that's that's a gift they don't have to do that they're doing that out of their own kindness you know what i mean out of their own Black women will penalize a man because of what you just said because he will not pay for her food and them four kids food. you like i'm just trying to get to know you but uh, okay so my take on it is i agree with both of y'all which is a man does not he is not required to take care of or spend his money on your kids. First and foremost, those are your kids. And you're probably going to say, well, we, a lot of Black women say, well, we a package deal. We a package deal. That's why a lot of y'all single. <laughs> because uh, ain't nobody looking for packages like that. You know, they like 
everybody don't want a bundle. Think about when uh, uh, your, your, your phone company or Spectrum, Verizon, Boost Mobile, whatever, they out, every time you turn around, they either send you an email, they send you a flyer in the mail, they send you a letter. Are you trying to walk into the store just to get a charger, but they're trying to upgrade you with new bundles? And you always like, oh, no, I'm good, I'm good. Well, that's how a lot of Black men are. Like, they don't want bundles, which are your kids you know because that comes with problems and stuff but i it's, get what, go ahead sorry i didn't mean i, I get what, the, what you're saying or what they say when they say well we're a package deal you know um but your package deal when he wants to pursue more with you while he's exactly. just dating you he's just trying to get to know who you are to even see if he wants to even go around your kids or be, meet your sister or your mother you know but the package deal comes in when he proposes to you when y'all get married that's when you're a package deal so right. i'm giving advice to say black women with children i don't care if it's one child or five to six children stop Someone as of today in. stop huh i said i was gonna say go ahead finish it. I was stop, gonna say stop as gonna today like putting these high expectations on men black especially black men because you already know financially they struggling you know the struggle but stop putting financial uh burdens on men already when they're just trying to get to know you your children become a package deal once y'all get married okay. now like courtney said he can do nice things out the kindness of his heart but he's not required honey to take your children to chug your cheese he's not required when your baby father or baby daddy Ain't, the child support ain't come through and uh you it, right, like right now it's christmas time don't call that man asking that man for um, money for christmas <laughs> don't don't do that that's very disrespectful and a lot of women y'all like to you say you ain't no prostitutes or no escorts but you like to say oh well if i'm doing this with him sexually like why he came well then that's a customer and a client not your boyfriend <laughs> separate the two stop um, calling these <laughs> men asking for money for your children that's not their responsibility and if he say no or i ain't got it or you can't get mad with him them your children so but i, I would like to say well, look one last thing before you say what you're gonna say a lot of women need to be start being self-sufficient so before you even get into a relationship or start dating make sure that you can handle all your bills along with your children that so whatever he gives you whatever he gives you is extra extra not required I said, don't be a nickel looking for a dime. Right. Right. Um, Patrice Avant said, as a single mother, a man will not even meet my daughter during the dating stage. Correct. It's, it's right. And I totally agree with that because you're still trying to figure out who is he? Exactly. Who, what, what's, what's his intentions? Like, is he here for me? Or is he just here because he needs a place to stay? Exactly. And I was going to yeah. add on to what you were saying earlier. Um, and what does a man look like spending these hundreds of dollars taking you and your kids out, buying your kids birthday presents because you didn't have it that month or whatever, da, 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 that, this, that, and the fourth. And then three months later, y'all break up. Now he's just out hundreds of dollars for Listen. no reason and nothing to show for it. And you and the woman that moved on to the next guy, the next sucker or whatever. Already on to the next sucker. Already to the next one for like, ooh, uh, so what? So after, oh, Valentine's Day coming up. And so now, so because after Christmas and New Year's, you know, the next holiday is Valentine's. And so you're like, oh, I got to get me, you know, I got to get me a new boo, you know, <laughs> I got it. Like, no, I, I just don't agree with that. And I know probably a lot of single mothers probably be like, no, we a package deal. Y'all love to say that package deal shit. Like, <laughs> no, be self-sufficient. So whatever a man provides for you and your children is just extra. It's a bonus. It's like work. You don't go to your job or being like, I need extra money this month. Can y'all yeah. loan me? No, you don't do that with your employer. But like I said, if you are, you have the mental to be like, well, I'm having sex with him. So he gonna, he gonna do something. Okay, well then that's your client and your customer. That's not your boyfriend. That's Sorry, right. God, that you're, you're getting When it you say that package deal thing, no, like it's not a lie that they aren't a package deal, which they right. are a package well, they deal. They legally depends, become that. It depends on how they're trying to do that package deal. Uh, if you're trying to be a BOGO package deal. BOGO? Oh, ooh, ooh, break it down. One, buy one, get one. Because see, like, when, well, it by my sound like a bad word. But see, when you marry me and I got one, so you done brought one, you got one. Okay. okay. 
or either it's it's just the point of a lot of things if, if you see the guy being nice if he decides to be nice to your kids if he decides during your state dating stage he decides not you he decides that like you said want to take him out do nice things he wants to do that at this point now some of them they are showing you that he's accepting the children just as much as he's accepting you and that he can be in that life and he's wanting and he's willing and so if it goes further when he marries you you already know he's gonna be that typical stepdad or the typical man that'll be there for your kids but the problem is like you said they don't let the man decide they want them they want them to automatically do it thinking they're obligated when that's not even their seed he's not at all he's not required to water a seed he didn't plant thank you like what's wrong with him I, I don't know it's a lot of them that where, do that, that. where does that but come from like where does that come like where does that mentality come from to say well you dating me <sighs> okay so it, to me it seems like if a guy take you out on a date and let's say you got let's say most women have two kids typically two kids so he's taking you out on a date let's say y'all go to red lobster and so it's winding down you know um but you, you, you act, you know, the waitress used to come by and I would be like, Hey, um, can I get you guys anything? Is everything okay? You know? And you, and then the woman be like, cause this is basically what y'all are doing when you request things for men. You're asking, you're saying, Oh, can I get the menu one more time? And she'd be like, okay. And so he's looking at you like, okay. You're looking at the menu. Because you ordering food for your kids. Like you literally ordering food for your kids to take back home, and he don't even know their names. Yeah, so I don't get like you don't find that like strange. Like that's so weird. I don't know if it goes into like women overvaluing themselves. Oh no, that's most. But true. a lot of I don't, and I really don't know where this mentality comes from. Like you were asking, I really don't know where. I don't know if it's because other men were doing it and it just got blown up and, you know, people started hearing what, you know, other men were doing in different tax brackets than most of these men are. But it's almost like women are like, I'm giving you my time. So I deserve anything that I ask for. Or I I deserve to be compensated for giving you the time of day when at the end of the day, you didn't have to say yes to that date. (laughs) Well, that's, that's the thing. This I'm, I'm about choices. I'm pro choices. So what you just said, the example that you just gave was how, how I feel about it is that's fine, but that needs to be stated from the get go. Give that man a choice and an opportunity to decide if you want to deal with a type of woman like, like you just described so she's like i would like to be compensated for my time meaning she just she want to be compensated for her time we'll just leave it at that he can say okay he can negotiate he can say well what's your prices so if i just want to see you between the hours of 12 a.m to 3 a.m you know how much that cost you know versus him saying well can i take you out to lunch you know because that 12 a.m. to 3 p.m., 3 a.m., you ain't getting nothing from that but a wet ass, as like old people like to say. But if he want to see you doing lunch, normal business hours, like lunch hours, then it's a, it could blossom into like something beautiful, like a relationship or something. But if you go ahead and like put like certain restrictions and stipulations on it, it's, it's going to be a problem. If you're going to do that, just go on to seekingarrangements.com. <laughs> what? Because I'm going to sign up. <laughs> Huh? What, is, what is that? You never heard of Seeking Arrangements? It's literally a sugar daddy site. I heard about sugar babies, but... No, that's a site too, but it's it's a site called Seeking Arrangements, and it's literally like Tinder, and they use, and like all these sugar daddies are on there, and they're literally, um, <laughs> me and a coworker at my second job was, uh, she was telling me about it, because she, she's on it, and she was showing me, like, they is literally it said, like, is I'm it successful for her? a single, huh? Is it successful her for her? Yes. Yes. It's very successful for her. Like she on there, like they can put like um 
uh, looking for a single girl where I can meet up on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, first, you know, meetup is not paid, you know, just because we're trying to fill each other out, want it as natural as possible, you know, because if they don't vibe, then he don't want it. But she, she was telling me how she went on there. The first time she went on there, she met up with somebody and like, he like gave her like $100 for gas. She lived like 15 minutes away from where they went. She gave her $100 for gas and was like, uh, we'll talk about the next time. For a while, they was only meeting up like every other weekend type of thing. And like, it was literally an arrangement. But you understand that's sexual, that's, that's, those are sexual things. You do realize that, right? No, not always. I mean, not always, but. She was telling me about it. Out of the three people that she had went up there with, she's only had sex with one of them. And that's because she wanted to. So, uh, you said secret arrangements? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious. There's men out there paying just for quality time. Oh, wow. Man, Courtney, you look know, at I know that. You know I just went. I mean, you know. Men do pay just to, to talk to you. Like, hey, how you, how was your day? You all right? You good? You know, I'm like Denise. No, I don't. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> what happened? I was looking at the <laughs> what happened? What, what's the comment saying? Denise, uh, Denise Predalis said that's definitely not a requirement. I think it's basically what you all said before. Some women need to learn to be more self sufficient and independent. She said, You low key got a sugar daddy, Courtney. No, I don't. <laughs> Probably. If I did, I wouldn't Probably. be in the crumb of a situation ship, Denise. I promise I don't. But I'm on the verge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the verge. It's hard out here. <laughs> it is hard out here. Especially for me. <laughs> oh, God. That's secret. Right. I'm, that's, that sounds quite interesting. Like, But I'd be so nervous and scared. Like... <sighs> I just don't want to end up on it. I, I just don't want to end up on a t shirt or a hoodie. Huh? I don't want to end up on a hoodie. Be like, don't miss it. <laughs> like, what's that's what I was telling my friend at work. I was like, I want to get on it, but I'm like, the first time someone tried to touch me, I'm gonna scream. I just know I am. Okay, but what they, oh, well, go on it for research purposes for us for the click. Go up there for research purposes, and then I feel like because I was told that I would be a probably a great. What's the, it start with a D, like, dom, dom, the Matrix? What is it? The people that, like, you can, like, tell them what the dominant... Dominatrix. Like, that. I would probably be great for that because of my attitude and how I am. Um, So, sh- attempt to do that. So, like, make your own thing. Like, say, you can't touch me. It's straight and look me in oh, my they eyes. Have, they, have, they have that. They have that. Oh, now I'm, in, I'm intrigued. You think I should sign up so I can just yes, report? Yes, and then do it. So, like, I, I want to I wanna see if I can, I think I could do, because I kind of low-key already was like, kind of like controlling guys anyway, you know? I'd be like, is that I don't want to Oh, we're going into another No, topic. no, no. Yeah, no, it's not a kink. It's just more of a, a guard, like guarding my feelings and heart. And because like I said, men ain't, sh- back then it was, so I was like, I already know this ain't going to be nothing, but what's good? You know, like, no, no, I come when I want to. I see you when I want to, blah, 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 you know, but, but yeah, uh, so we're going to wrap this up. So Courtney, you said you're going to do the research. You're going to test uh, it out. I might, I might just go ahead and make a profile just to, you know, let people know the information. <laughs> yes. And then make sure you, in, not necessarily in control because men, clearly they have money to spend. Um, and they just need company. They want company. It could either just be like some type of companionship where, you know, they're uh, just talking like, hey, how you doing? Um, how was your day? Because some men, like, they may be like a widower, you know, lost their wife or lost their girlfriend. And sometimes men just want to see women do good. Like, you know, especially like for you, like you have your own stuff anyway. So it's not like you need it, you know, so you would be different. Like you're, you're higher quality than probably some women that are up there, you know. <laughs> No, I'm just not because of looks, but I'm just saying you being self sufficient. Like it's just ex- whatever they give you is extra, you know. Yeah, it is. It is. It would be. It would be. And plus, I'd be getting out of it because you know I'm not getting no attention. I'm a Leo, and I need that. So, I, I'm, and, I'm so you're crazy. probably gonna you're probably gonna have like a couple. So you probably have you're probably you'll be booked. You have your Tuesdays and Thursdays, and your Mondays and Wednesdays, and then your Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> you know, you probably book. I'm like, just leave Sunday open so we can do the show. Denise said Ashley about to try to bank off sugar daddies. 
Uh, honestly, I want to do the what's the word? How you pronounce it? What the D word? Dominatrix. I need it. I gotta. That's the vocabulary word I'm working on. I want to do that. Like I want to do the shut the fuck up now. <laughs> Who are you looking at? You know, that's like I want to do that. Yeah. I want to do that. Like I don't know about the no, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I don't know about the whipping part, you know, but I just want to be like, don't get it twisted. I, I used to be on this chat line like a long time ago and it was like some weird people that was up there. Like, I'm not into like certain fetishes, like the the adults wanting to be a baby. Cause like there was some guys that would like try to hit me up, mostly Caucasian. They would be like, oh, um, can you be my mommy? And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? They're like, can you change my diaper? I'm like, next. <laughs> We, I'm not playing in no shit. I'm not doing it. Listen, no matter what you think of, there's a fetish for it. So. It is. I think one of the most interesting fetishes that I learned about was fur babies, a furry. That's where like adults dressed in those costumes. I, I watched the video just, about that. They just <laughs> her. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that's kind of low key interesting and it's secretive. But like they have like the little flaps away, like they still have on the mask and the uniform, but they they having sex. That you know, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. I watched a video about that. I was very interested. I, I was like, I low key, I don't know if I'm weird, but uh, I was like, that's neat, you know, because you can, you don't never have to disclose your identity. You'd be like, I'm just fat cat, you know, <laughs> you just come up with a pet name. <laughs> I'm Garfield. You know, like, you just come up with a pet name. the fox of being here. <laughs> you know. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. So, the um, fourth Denise question. Said, hold on. Denise said for y'all to um, share y'all experience because it's about to be interesting. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, I can't get up there right now. I'm kind of in the middle of something. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be like Denise. I'm trying to get locked down a little bit. <sighs> I mean, it's I want to see the niece. I want to get locked down too, but you know, I might just just for uh, research purposes. Right? Yeah, job, we got to so see Courtney out there. You know, Courtney's our young investigator, our private investigator. We got to send her out there. You know. Um, okay, so is there any more questions? Or that was it. 